Hello viewers, you are welcome to Wilson Global Learning and Training Academy. Today we're going to talk about chemistry. And we started from the very uh, basic, the very beginning. Now, our topic for today is going to be atomic structure, an atom. Now, before we talk about uh, an atom, we have to understand the meaning, the ordinary meaning of an atom. What is an atom? An atom, an atom is uh, defined as the smallest particle of an element which can take part in chemical reaction. Atom is defined as the smallest particle of an element which can take part in chemical reaction. Before now, in the days of old, uh, during the Datos atomic theory and all the Democritus and all those who have contributed to the uh, science of discovery of the atom, they said an atom was in, or indivisible uh, par uh, particle. But today we found that an atom can be divided into three subatomic particles, which we're going to talk about. Now, the atom is made up of three smaller particles, which are the protons, the neutrons, and the electrons. So we found that an atom, atom can be divided into three subatomic particles. Even as of today, we found all the smaller particles, apart from the protons, the neutrons, and the electrons, like the quarks and other subatomic particles that have been discovered today and more will still be discovered in the future now the protons and the neutrons of an atom they are found where in the nucleus of the atom because the atom is just like we studied in biology the cell in the cell we have the nucleus in the cell so in, in, inside an atom there is a nucleus and now what is found in the nucleus of the atom the protons and the neutrons are found in the nucleus of the atom why the electrons revolve around the shell, revolve around the nucleus they orbit the nucleus just like the planetary system the planetary body so the electron revolves around the nucleus of the atom now have you said this have you understood the, the atom and the subatomic particles such as the proton the neutrons and the electrons then it's begot on us to understand the composition of these uh, ato uh, subatomic particles the properties the characteristics of these subatomic particles the protons and the neutrons and the electrons they both they all have mass and charge so we're going to look at these two two properties of these uh, subatomic particles of the atom now the mass we say they both they have the mass and they all they also have what the charge now let's take a look at the mass and charge of each of the subatomic particle for proton it has a mass of one and it is positively charged and for neutron it has a mass of one and it has no charge and for electron it has a mass of almost zero which is like one all over 1840 or one all over 1850 or one all over 2000 as seen in different textbooks reported in different books but it all means the same thing because the value is relatively close to zero so electrons uh, do not really have a tangible mass it therefore means it's almost it's negligible so, but the protons and the neutrons, they have a mass of one. And the pro proton is positively charged, which is found in the nucleus of the atom, like we said. And uh, the neutron has a mass of one, but it has no charge. The electron has a mass of almost zero, but it's negatively charged and it revolves around the nucleus. We always say the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons. And this is why we say an atom is said to be electrically neutral. The difference between them is just the charge. The number of prot protons is said to be no equal to the number of electrons. And this is why we said an atom is, is said to be electrically neutral. Now, let's take a, a look at a small activity to see the characteristics or the locations of these uh, subatomic particles that we've talked about. The protons, the neutrons, where they are found, where they are, where are they located in inside the atom? Because a, a, an atom is like a hub now, it's like a house, where some of the subatomic particles are found is inside, 
and others are found outside. Now let's take a look at their various location. Now we say which of these subatomic particles is located in the nucleus? The protons, right? Located in the electron orbited orbited the nucleus, the electrons. Positively charged protons. Negatively charged electrons. Located in the nucleus again, neutrons. Because the protons and the neutrons, they both found in the nucleus of the atom. Now, as a relative mass of almost one, a relative mass of almost uh, one, that's electro. Uh, uh, then, uh, a relative mass of one, proton. A relative mass of one, one again, electro, uh, neutrons. No charge, neutron. Okay? Now, let's check this activity that we've just done, if we're right or wrong. Yeah, that's great. We're right. So we move on to the next step of our video. Now, now we're going to take a look at the sum, a, a quick summary of the these characteristics and compositions of these uh, subatomic particles that makes up the atom. Now, the nucleus is made up of protons and neutrons. This we've understood. This is the nucleus. If you take a look at this uh, atom, this is the nucleus. This nucleus is made up of the reddish ball and the greenish ball now if you take a look at them these are the number of protons and the numbers of neutrons and both of them they found in the nucleus of the atom both the protons and the neutrons are found in the nucleus of the atom now where is the orbit where is the orbit or shell these ones these ones are the shells and the orbits now which the nucleus is positively charged. Why? Because it's made up of protons. Protons are positively charged. The nucleus has no charge. Therefore, the only charge that is found in the nucleus is the positive charge. Now, the nucleus is dense because it contains all the mass of the atom in a tiny space. It contains all the mass in a very small space. So, it is dense, seriously dense. Now, let's take a look at the electrons. The electrons are very small and light and they negatively charged. The electrons are small. If you take a look at the size of the electron as shown in the orbit or in the shell, you see that the size of the electron is way small compared relatively to the, neutr the protons and the neutrons. So, we say the electrons are small and they are light and they are negatively charged. And then they are able to lost or gain in chemical reaction. When two or more elements react together, electrons are either lost or they are gained. So, uh, this gives rise to its ability to undergo chemical reaction. And electrons are found thinly spread around the orbit they revolve around the share in various energy level. The electrons revolve around the share in various uh, energy level. So they are not found in the nucleus. They are found outside the nucleus of the atom. Okay. So now we move on to we look take a look at a quick uh, discovery of the atomic structure. Who are those guys who have uh, contributed? Who have put a lot of effort to the development and the discovery? to what we are enjoying today, to what has led to the electricity and so many other things of today's generation. Now, first of all, in 450 BC, before Christ, the birth of Christ, there was a, a Greek philosopher called Democritus. He speculates that everything is made up of tiny particles. He called them atoms. So, from a Greek word, it was ato atomos. Atomos was the name he gave them. He said, uh, virtually everything is made up of tiny particles which you call atomos. So from even in as, as, as far back or as late back as 450 BC, and atomos has been named, atoms have been named accordingly. Now let's take a look at in the 1803. Now Jordatons, he reintroduces the idea of the particle during this time and calls them atoms like Dom what Democritus did. And because now uh, uh, Jordato was uh, a British uh, 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 scientist, 
So he used an English name, called them, and, and called them uh, the atoms. And he said they are like hard balls and cannot be splitted. But they join together seriously. Now, this was his whole contribution. Now, let's take a look at in the 1897, around 1897, by J.J. Thompson, the master of uh, uh, Rutherford, Ernest Rutherford. Now, J.J. Thompson discovered the electron. He found that the atom is made up of other smaller particles called the electron. He discovered the electron. He believed that they are distributed equally throughout the atom. That was his whole understanding. That was, at that time, this was what J.J. Uh, uh, Thompson found out about the atoms. That the, 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 uh, the, the atom is made up of electrons which are evenly or equally distributed around the structure of the atom. Now, after that, in 1907, N.S. Rutherford, who was a student other J.J. Thompson, discovered the nucleus and also the protons. How did he do this? He fired an alpha particle towards a gold foil in a Giga Metzi experiment. He also had two students, Giga and Metzi by name, who helped him to carry out this experiment, who were doing master's degree other him, and they helped to fire a gold foil a, an alpha particle towards a gold foil and the, the result shows that some of the particles could penetrate the gold foil and some were deflected backward and some were deflected to another direction. So he, he, by so he discovered he brought up his discovery and he discovered that the atom was made up of the nucleus and the protons as it were. Now in 1930 Le says that the electrons orbit the nucleus in a fixed layer. This was his whole contribution, that the electron, they orbit the nucleus in, in their own fixed layer. And he called them the electro shell. This was Le uh, contribution in 1913. Now, in 1932, James Chadwick discovered the, nu the neutrons. He finds that they weigh the same as protons and uh, have no electrical charge. So this were the earliest contribution to the development of uh, atomic structure. Thank you very much for watching our today's video.